All right, welcome everybody to part five of Mixing with Waves Plugins, where we're doing an entire mix using nothing but Waves Plugins. And we are also doing the same mix with stock Cubase plugins and Slate digital plugins. And at the very end, we will then compare the mixes uh, and hear the differences in the tonalities, as well as the imaging, depth, width, that sort of thing. So today we're going to be looking at what I consider the hardest part of this mix, and that is the keys. Um, getting the keys to sit right with the guitar and vocals is a very, very difficult thing. And um, just bear with me here because it's kind of hard to do on headphones. But um, excuses are for uh, excuses are for wimps. So <laughs> let's get started, and uh, at the end, I'll explain the choices I made here.
Okay, so let's take a look at what we did here. So um, as usual, I'm adding the Sephira, and I'm using a preset, as you can see, uh, Rhodes Teeth. Um, there is no Rhodes in this, but um, to me, that organ sound is, uh, it can benefit, benefit from some processing that you would use on a Rhodes. Um, and uh, it's just adding some color, really, and um, some tape emulation there. Then I use the SSLG, uh, first time I've used this. Um, I'm rolling off all the way up to 100. Um, that might be able to go down a little bit, just to add a little bit more bottom back in there. Um, but for now, I'll just keep it for sake of time. Um, that is just uh, making room for the kick and the bass guitar. Um, then I'm also filtering off everything above 17K to make room for uh, the the high end on the vocals and things like the hi-hat and stuff like that. Uh, 8, 8K shelf here, uh, just to give it some definition. And um, in some of the other tracks, I've been cutting around 4K. So since there's a little pocket right there, I, uh, I boosted some 4K on the, uh, the keys here. And then I've also been cutting a lot of the low mid out of all the tracks. So uh, to give it some body, I added that back in. Then I'm using a fast attack and a fast release to kind of make it sit back. Um, but also compressing it with the 4 to 1 ratio. Uh, this has an auto makeup gain, so it's uh, it's making things a little bit more even. Mostly for the, uh, the piano. Um because I really need that to be more consistent to stand out. And uh, I had to dial back the output because it was just really burying the guitars. And uh, the guitars still are a little bit buried. Um, might need to go back in and do a little bit of EQing in there to make it sit better with these keys. Um, but it, it's it's the keys are sounding good. Um, so on the track level, I added the Neve console emulation on all of them. Um, and then as far as EQ and compression, it's pretty much the same as what I did on the bus level. Um, but I wanted to emphasize that a little bit more here on the, the track level. And then on the organs, I added some bottom end, uh, just to really fill in that bottom to make it sound real big. And, uh, I just drove it pretty hard. Um, just because, uh, to me, organs really like distortion. And with the NLS, um, it's up to about six, it sounds like, like just color. But once you hit about seven, then it really just goes into kind of a gnarly, gritty distortion, which uh, I really like on organs. So that's pretty much it. Um, I went ahead and I was doing some bypassing of the entire mix, as well as uh, soloing the keys and bypassing that. Uh, I also soloed it with just the guitars, so you can hear that. Um, let me go back through real quick and just tweak it just a little bit more. Uh, maybe be a little less aggressive with the compression and the uh, the EQ on the bus level, so that way um, the guitars will come through a little bit more. Let me just do a quick adjustment. If I can't get it within a few minutes, then uh, I'll just do it off camera. So let's check that out. Okay, so to me, that's sitting a little bit better. Um, I did that pretty quick. Um, if you need to rewind, you can check that out, but I'm not really going to explain what I did there. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned some cool things. 
Um, to me, the number one thing to take away from this is uh, on keys, uh, they organs really, really love distortion. Um, uh, if you watch the stock plugins, um, organ sounds, uh, you could see that I really transformed the sound of those organs using distortion, multiple types for that matter. Um, but uh, for me, just using the uh, the Neve color and uh, driving that into distortion, it's a really unique sound and really adds some depth to this, as well as a unique character. And um, if you know me, I really, really look for that unique character when I mix. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down. That's okay. You're entitled to your opinion, as I always say. If you really liked it, please subscribe. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.